okay guys uh good evening we are doing this mock interview session today and uh, how this will go is we will ask uh, some question to the candidate and uh, once the interview is done we will do the analysis in the second part okay so let's start with this we have a candidate today um so candidate you can uh just let us know about yourself uh it's better that you will not reveal your name you can keep any random name as of now right and let's start so for first question is just introduce yourself Uh, yeah. Hi. Good evening, everyone. Uh, myself, Dilip. Uh, currently, I'm working in Tech Mahindra, in Bangalore, Electronic City. So, I have completed my graduation in 2020 from Kelly Technological University in Computer Science Branch with a CGPA of 7.55 is uh, CGPA. And, uh, yeah, this is about myself. Great. Thank you. And we have your resume with us. So we are able to see that uh, you are still working as an associate software engineer? Yes, correct. Okay, fine, fine, fine. Um, so how your day-to-day -day activity goes on? Like, can you explain that? What are the roles and responsibility you have? with your project yeah uh, currently i'm working in embedded uh, system it is having uh, the back end c++ programming language they are using and uh, for testing we are using automation testing we are working on the system uh, automation scripts uh, in python automation scripts we are using the framework is a bdd framework behavior driven development and uh, the role uh, yeah i am the role sometimes uh, using the role is like sdet software development engineering testing sometimes i will take the uh, task as a development also and uh, most of the task i am handling the testing uh, part okay okay fine thank you um so what sort of team you have? Sorry, can you please repeat again? Yeah, so uh, tell me about your team structure. Yeah, uh, yeah, my team is around uh, like uh, 13 people are there in my team, um, like um, seven are developers, and uh, four members are uh, QA members. Okay. And how is the release cycle? Like, how often you release your product? Yeah, you are, uh, you are asking about the storage deliverables. Yes. So when the de deployment is happening, is it like every month, once in a quarter, every week how it is yeah it is uh two weeks of the sprint every two weeks uh, we have the sprint review and uh, planning and the refinement uh, meeting with the clients so we are deploying the uh, software builds into the system every two weeks of the sprint okay okay fine 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 uh can you tell us about um what is performance testing? Yeah, performance testing. As of now, uh, as my understanding, performance testing is what we are working on the product or the system or an application. We are measuring the performance of the particular product. Uh, like we are applying the some uh, scenarios on that. Uh, like we are expecting some result 
whether it is uh, whether it is uh, uh, like reaching the expected result or not we need to verify on that okay but that we do for any other functional testing also how it is different how the performance testing is different from other type of testing do you know about it yeah uh, for example the performance testing and the difference between the performance testing and the regression testing regression testing is like uh, we already had like we already uh, implemented the scenarios the test cases so we are working on the system as i know i am working on the device uh, embedded device so regression testing is kind of uh, the scenario the, the test cases are already in the tool so whatever the already we implemented the scenarios we are taking up and we are testing on the device that it, it should be work as expected what we already implemented in the tool that is regression the performance is like uh, yeah as i said i uh, mentioned earlier the performance is kind of okay and when we do perform uh, regression testing yeah regression testing when uh, like kind of uh, we are exploring we are writing the exploratory testing on the particular device or system or uh, application we are writing the exploratory testing that time we are taking the reference of the regression testing okay. Fine. Do you know about uh, smoke testing? Uh, no, sorry. Okay. Have you heard about sanity testing? Yeah, I heard about that, but uh, as of now, we are not uh, using sanity testing or smoke testing. Okay. Okay. Um, what is your bug? logging process when you log a defect uh, yeah take your time so the question basically is um when you log the defect and how you log the defect yeah while performing the like while performing the testing on particular device or uh, particular application when we are working on that if we are expecting something like it should be work as expected if it behaves differently we'll find a one bug yeah okay uh, yeah this one will just intimate to our team leads after that uh, they will take care like uh, they will the responsible to handle it okay and how you log the defect so you explained about when you logging a defect mm -hmm. now the question is how how you are doing it are you using any application uh, yeah we are defect? yes correct we are recording into the client uh, application actually okay okay fine yeah that client uh, application is there so we are recording all the bugs into there like uh, for example uh, it tickets kind of okay okay and what happens once you log the defect what is the process after that yeah we'll uh, uh, yeah, if I found any defect while doing the uh, testing on the particular device or testing uh, particular device or application, so we'll intimate to the team lead. So after that, we'll try to reproduce it ourselves. We'll understand it first. We'll note on the uh, steps, all those things. We'll internally, we'll discuss it first, whether it is uh, behaving the as expected or it is a different kind of a defect we'll confirm it first whether it is a defect or it is work behaving the uh, expected after that we'll go through it uh, we'll intimate to client it, it is uh, behaving like this whether uh, it is 
behaving the same uh, uh, from your end or not we will confirm it after that we will raise it as a defect okay so once yeah. defect is raised what will happen after that yeah once a defect is raised after that we will record into the tool after that we will uh, will uh, do the testing how to reproduce this defect okay so you yeah. are able to reproduce then what will happen so explain yeah. me everything like once you log the defect what is happening with that defect yeah once the defect will happen means we will intimate to our leads so once uh, we'll uh, yeah, inform to leads means they will tell like uh, they will discuss with uh, um, for example tech leads and they will come up with one decision uh, they will tell like uh, some other steps whether uh, it is working another way alternative way or not they will tell so we'll work on that we'll uh, in, uh, we'll uh, tell them it is working if it is working working or it is not working but uh, then we'll again intimate to them so after that what will happens like uh, they will come up with one decision whether it is defect or not they will decide it and they will come internally if it is a defect as i said they will inform to client it is we are getting this one one bug here so we need to reproduce it so they will tell like a client to, uh, they will inform to client we are uh, facing this uh, we are finding found this bug whether your side is this bug is fine you found this bug or not in this period of time they will ask whether they are also getting that same bug means will try to reproduce it by uh, defining their steps okay okay so they are able to reproduce it after that what will happen uh, actually they will not uh, reproduce it they will just give the hint or uh, some guidance some suggestions to reproduce it so we'll go through the uh, acceptance criteria and after that we'll try to reproduce it so okay. if yeah so it's if, reproducing then yeah if it is reproducing means we'll again uh, uh, create one uh, separate id for that and we'll record it to the tool okay that is done then yeah this is how we are closing the bugs no it is just reproduced you have reproduced the defect only what will happen after that so your developers are not fixing it who who is fixing the defect the question is this yeah correct developers only fixing the uh, like for particular build if they send particular builds to qa for testing mm -hmm. on the device or application we'll test it so if there is a defect or bug means we'll inform to first our team lead team lead will discuss with the uh, architect development architect okay yeah they will discuss each other they will discuss uh, and uh, they will come up with one decision okay yeah if developers are uh, able to reproduce it if they are able to fix it they will fix it or else again they will come uh, go through the client and they will ask whether it is correct or not we are uh, we are doing it like that okay. they will ask. okay and finally and the fixer uh, the bug will fix by the developers only not by qa yeah correct okay so let's say they fix the bug okay and yeah. then you are testing it again right and you are able to find an same bug right so what you will do oh you are telling about the same bug i am finding again yes yes even after yeah. fix you are finding a bug so what you yeah will do? again we need again, again i will go through the development uh, my key lead after that uh, key lead uh, again go to uh, architect that architect will be uh, discuss with that particular development developer who is uh, implementing that functionality they will again okay. fix it try uh, try to reproduce and fix it okay so let's say they will fix it but again you are getting the defect so what you will do yeah it's so not you will, from... you will do the same process so it's a hypothetical situation right i'm 
I'm not saying this is going to happen, right? This is happening with you. My question is, if you are finding the same defects again and again, what you will do? Yeah, like uh, I will uh, just intimate to our lead. Okay. Yeah. Fine. Fine. Um, do you know what is API testing? Yeah, like API test is, I'm not working on it, but API is application programming interface application uh, testing. So as per my knowledge, it is uh, application testing. Okay. In your day-to-day -day practice, do you connect with a uh, database also? No, we are not connecting with the database. Okay. So you are testing the user interface or you are testing some devices? Yeah, some devices there. Devices okay. are. What kind of device that is? Yeah, it is. A, uh, this project is kind of. Uh, this is the domain of healthcare domain. So this uh, this is the embedded system uh, in healthcare uh, domain. Okay. It will be like uh, kind of a uh, Rica uh, plasma donation system. So it will be uh, collect the plasma from the donor. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Great. So you don't have any user interface for the testing, right? Like website or something? No, we don't have. Great. Fine. Fine. And through your resume, we are able to see that um you worked with python programming as well correct yes so how python is different from other programming language yeah python is uh, very uh, different from other programming language Pro for example python is easy compared to all other programming languages okay any other thing yeah in python uh, yeah it is also object oriented programming language uh, even though java also object oriented programming language uh, and uh, yeah here syntax will be very easy in python actually okay and uh, uh, what version of linux you are using Linux, uh, no, I'm not using Linux. Okay. But in your resume, you have mentioned about Linux command. So yes, I know the... some basic uh, Linux commands. Okay. Yeah. Fine. And uh, are you comfortable with writing some queries? Yeah, sure. Okay. So let's assume that there is a table called student. Okay. okay there is a table called student and it has columns like like roll number okay okay and um, standard right so standard is like class one class two both things right one two three four till twelfth okay. and uh, let's say address and a phone number okay so you have to create this table Okay. Then you write something uh, which will create this table. Take your time and create what what command we have to give right to create this table. Yeah, to create this table, we use first command is create table. So, so take your time. What I'm saying is you can explain it later on. You just have to write the query in your notepad and paste it here. Then we will talk about it. Okay. Okay. So we got your answer. You have put it. Uh, we'll discuss about it. Uh, create student table, right? That was the question. And we received your answer. Can you explain your answer? Yeah. 
uh, for creating the table i am using the command create the table is the table student the table name is a student okay. so as you said i am taking uh, two uh, variables there one is roll number one is class okay but but our question was with a particular uh, column name roll number standard address and phone number sorry so create four columns roll number and class shall i edit that no it's fine so we got it now yeah. for uh, address we but, use the uh, like data type is where char variable character okay great yeah and for phone number what you would use uh, uh, phone number we can use uh, uh, number or int it will not come number yeah number it will come i think okay the next question is write a query to find all students with the roll number greater than 50 to query yes so we got your answer uh, select star from student where roll number is greater roll, roll number greater than 50 yes. fine fine so dilip are you working in agile team like who uh, who, who are following agile methodologies uh no okay fine fine and do you guys have retrospection meeting yes retrospective meetings are there and also we are uh, providing the retrospective points okay do you guys have a sprint planning meeting yes okay do you guys do daily stand-up meeting yes okay so probably you're following scrum probably okay fine um do you have any question for me uh sorry at the beginning i forgot to ask your name may i know your name please so my name is ritesh and uh, the opportunity which we have is related to uh, testing only where we have a product and we have a very settled product so we want a person who can handle manual and automation as well as you know handling the daily uh, quality assurance practices right so do you know about rca root cause analysis uh no i don't know okay fine any other question do you have for me yeah my question is uh, like how, how was my interview like i should should i improve somewhere can you please we we, we will talk about it no issue no issue but apart from that do you have any other question other question for me uh, no okay great thank you thank you thank you for your uh, yeah you given for one chance to speak with you okay great thank you